Welcome to this mystery lover came to the Friday challenge. I don't call it Country Geek Desert Friday. This month he's doing colors. So first week of the month he did black and last week he did white covers. This week it's yellow covers. I got two honorable mentions because I think I've shown them in other uh, Friday challenges before. So <clears throat> this is uh, Amazing Spider-Man number 61. The first cover appearance of Gwen Stacy. And then <clears throat> Lady Spider 129, the first appearance of The Punisher. So I showed these two books in the previous challenges. There's honorable mentions. Alright. <clears throat> number 10 is Superman number 1. This is a facsimile reprint from uh, uh, 2022. barcodes on the back of this so it doesn't really show and for displaying anyway this is about the closest that come to the real thing because you know unless i win a lottery or something but there you go first parent well superman number one <clears throat> and then again this is a reprint of batman number one this is from the early 2000s it came with uh i'll show you they got this right here Pretty cool. It came with this. Hang on for a sec. It came inside this. And when you open it, the book was right here, and you got a, a book that tells you all about uh, Batman. You got a Batman doll. It looks like the 30s uh, character, original character. Anyway, they say what years came out. It says. Does not say. Anyway, it's early 2000s. They had one for uh, Wonder Woman. They came with Wonder Woman number one. But it came with a little plastic uh, figurine. And then Superman also got one that has actually the facsimile of this right here. But it's actually this size. Uh, close to the Golden Age size. And uh, it also comes with a little bitty figure like that. Batman is the only one that comes with actual doll. Okay, so this is number nine. And again, because I get to original, and if I become a win the lottery or whatever, I'll try to buy the original. All right, number eight, Archie 104. We got this in Missouri at Antique Mall. That was kind of cool. They're both fighting over Archie. And <clears throat> number seven is Last uh, Last Rue Western, number uh, twenty nine. Found this at an Antique Mall down the road. I thought it was interesting because right here it has one, two, three, four, five, six hole punches. Almost like it's been lent, you know, like you, uh, basically, uh, kind of like a library where you, uh, I guess not rent it out, but, uh, when you take it home and they punch it each time somebody takes it home. So it's got like, you know, that's what I'm assuming it is. You know, anyway, there you go. Next up is Mickey Mouse. Uh. We don't know what issue this is. It's from 1963. Anyway, it's kind of like yellow color, kind of like a little bit mustardy, kind of dark. Anyway, I bought this because it's cool. The title it says Mickey Mouse uh, Strange Cargo to Bengulia. 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 That's pretty cool. 
Alright. Next up is Adventure Comics uh, 260. This is the origin of the Silver Age uh, Aquaman. It's a you know low grade detached cover. Pay like twenty bucks for it. That's pretty cool. And the signature, I think it's just a kid's signature. I couldn't find no information on that name. Here's another one I got at Antique Mall down the road. Uh, pay like five bucks for it. This is Walt Disney Don Duck number one ninety nine. I think it's four colors one ninety nine. Pretty cool. You got fade into yellow. That's very neat. The next one up is a Charleston comic. Uh, the Six Million Dollar Man, issue number five. This is cool because I bought this book in my little comic book shop. I went down to convention and had Lee Major sign it. Sign right here, Lee Majors, and it says Colonel Steve Austin right here. It's hard to read this part because it kind of goes over the dark real good, you know. But you can read his name pretty well. So it'll probably be the last time, probably the only time I ever get something signed by him. Because again, up in the years, he probably won't be around much longer, unfortunately. <sighs> All right, next up is a slab book. This is Action Comics 258. In this issue, uh, on the cover, it shows uh, Superman. It says, uh, and Supergirl. It says, uh, featuring Supergirl's farewell to the Earth. And she says, please, please, Superman, don't banish me. Give me another chance. And he says, I'm sorry to end your career. But you've, you're a failure as Supergirl, and I must exile you to another world. There you go. It's pretty cool. It's a 5.0. When I bought this at auction, it's buying out on eBay. It was like $120. I got a 5.0 and a 3.0 of the same issue for $120, $230, something like that. That was a pretty good deal. Pretty neat. Alright. My number one is a book I just got a couple weeks about a couple weeks ago. <clears throat> anyway, there's only two issues of this, uh one and two. It's from a TV show, uh The Big Top. Uh, it was from I think it ran from uh nineteen fifty one to nineteen fifty seven, I believe. Anyway, it's basically uh you know, you have like a ringmaster. So you have a ringmaster, Jack, the boy aerobic topper, and the clown uh, Laffy. All right, basically, you know, it'd be kind of like you know, I don't know when episode Topper was cute of stealing some money, so they had to prove his innocence to the police and all that stuff to try to find that person who actually stole the money. Anyway, there's stuff like that. You know, I think you know I've seen some of these. Uh, um, episodes back when I was a kid, you know, dad always watched like, uh, you know, all the old shows that he grew up with and stuff. Yeah, so I found this one finally. It's number one. It's my number one on my countdown. I'm going to try to find issue number two. I've seen it once before. It was kind of high. So the same with this one. This one here I've seen once before. It's, it's, it's like really high. It's a like high grade. This is probably like a four, three and a half, four. But still presents pretty good. It's got one little chunk out right here. Right here. It's got some spine splits. And uh, not splits, but uh, ticks. It's got a little big thing out right here at the bottom. Other than that, it looks pretty good. I mean, vibrant colors. This is my number one pick right here. Anyway, okay. Enough of that. Uh, Hope you guys liked it. Uh, you know, like, subscribe, click what you want, click what you like. Uh, don't get trapped to phone on none of that stuff. If you want to participate in the challenge, just uh, do ten of your uh, 
yellow book uh, covers and then go to Allen's uh, website where he did his challenge and then post yours with a link and that way everybody who does the challenge can see them and everything he might even give you a shout out uh, anyway thanks again hope you guys enjoyed it bye